Chris and company will be in Orlando for the Home Depot Awards show the rest of the hardware for the college football season. Chris, Lee, and Kirk are now in Birmingham with some happy people. Chris. Oh, Mike. Happy doesn't begin to describe it. Delirium here as Alabama comes back and wins it over Auburn 24-23. Fifth time in six years, guys. This game comes down to a touchdown or less. You called it, my yes, friend, yes, Alabama yes. by one before the game. But Freddie Kitchens, three interceptions in this ball game. He takes them 74 yards in 10 plays a minute 48. That game-winning drive, a gutsy effort by a guy who really had been shaky for long stretches of this game. And one thing about Freddie Kitchens that really impressed me is he got hit five times in that last drive and got up every time. But also, a point for Damian Craig, the Auburn quarterback. That kid played well enough to win this football game. I was tremendously impressed with Damian Craig tonight. Yeah, you hear it all the oh. time. You hate to see a team yeah. lose a football game on either side of the football. Being down on the sidelines the entire ball game, you can feel the energy go to Auburn the entire second quarter, third quarter, most of the fourth quarter. Credit both sides for giving it all they had in this game, but the Alabama Crimson Tide would not be denied playing in Birmingham. They were, they were on a mission tonight. We expect Gene Stallings to announce his resignation effective at the end of the season momentarily. What a way to go out against Auburn. He would finish up 5-2 and two against Auburn. That's the most important stat for an Alabama coach. Big picture now. Arizona State completes the regular season undefeated. Emphatic win over Arizona. Yeah, Arizona State is another team that is late in the season. A lot of people still doubting because of the schedule they have played, yet they have stayed focused. Congratulations to Bruce Snyder keeping his team ready, playing well on both sides of the ball. Right now, Arizona State is playing as well as anybody in the country because of the way they have balance on offense and they get after you on defense. And let me put you in a position right here. They have placed themselves in a position to win a national championship because Florida has got to be Florida State, Alabama, and Nebraska to stay undefeated. And my friends, if they do that, they deserve to be the national champion. Very quickly, back to Ohio State. What's John Cooper feeling as a coach tonight? 1-7-1 one, one now against Michigan. Uh, he's feeling tremendously depressed. His whole staff is depressed, but they shouldn't be. The guy won 10 football games, and I know, I know he's supposed to be Michigan, but if I was 10-1 every year, I don't care who the hell I'd lose to. Well, I, 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 not in Columbus, Ohio. That's not going to be accepted. 1-7-1. One, one. Obviously, John Cooper not real happy with what happened in this football game. The season, 10-1, and one, going on to the Rose Bowl to tell you the magnitude of this loss, even when they go out to Pasadena. And if they are able to beat Arizona State, they will still look back at the Michigan game as a very, very unfortunate season. Yeah, that's true. Let's bring in Bino Cook now. Bino, as outsiders, it's tough for us to understand how fans can be so down on a coach who just loses one game. But I guess that's what makes great rivalries. You have to have sympathy for John Cooper. Uh, you know, guys, sure, he makes $300,000. But it's absolutely brutal that they lost that game. It, uh, you have to have sympathy for Cooper, but I have to say the Ohio State fans are never going to forgive him for this two years in a row. And that's what happens when you lose to Michigan. The fans don't forget in Ohio. Meanwhile, the Rose Bowl once again denied two undefeated teams. It's now 67 years. And another trend, we wouldn't have three undefeated teams in regular season. Well, the last time that happened was in 1954, and the three teams played 29 games. It's very unlikely, Chris, if we are going to have three teams at the end of the season with perfect record. The teams now play 11 games, 12 games, 13 games in some cases, and it's going to be very difficult. The Ball Alliance is going to work despite all the criticism, and a couple weeks ago, everybody was making fun of it. Now it looks like it could work. It could work. But it'll still be very unlikely we have the top two teams playing uh, for the championship in a bowl game. Roger Bina, we'll talk to you later on as we anticipate Gene Stolle's announcement. We'll show you the highlights of the Notre Dame game and Lou Holtz's final home game in Notre Dame. Plenty more.